All this is happening simultaneously, and I'm uh, confronted with His Holiness, which puts this weight of sin upon me. And I know, I know that because He is just, He must kill me. He must wipe me off the face of the earth because I'm so full of sin. And I cried because I literally didn't want to die. But uh, I knew there is no chance. He was so holy and I was so wicked. So I just ran to the corner of the room and I held my head in my arms and I just cried out, God forgive me, God forgive me, God forgive me, God forgive me. And I just said, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. And as I was crying and just saying, forgive me, I felt the touch on my shoulder saying, I forgive you. And the very instant those words were spoken, I physically felt forgiven. And I couldn't understand it. I said, wait a minute, you say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of God who is merciful and gracious. But we don't know if you are forgiven till the day of judgment. That is why there is not one single verse in the Quran that says Muhammad is in the heaven. He must wait like all people for the, the, the day of Qiyamah, the day of resurrection, and all shall be judged on that day. So, how is it that who is this God that says I forgive you and I feel forgiven today? And I asked, I said, who are you? They can forgive me and I feel forgiven today. And says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The moment I heard those words, I knew it's of a great importance, but I had absolutely no idea what that meant. I still had no clue who this God is. So I asked him, what is your name? Jesus Christ, the living God, he answered. And the moment he spoke those words, it was as if every single bone was taken out of my body and I just fell on my face to the ground and I started weeping in the presence of God. I just wept. I still can't eat this. 18 years have gone by, but I still can't forget His love, His mercy. And all the forget what is for me that day and he just said, forgive you I felt forgiven I fell on my face I just wept because for many years I had tried to please God but I was nothing I had done was pleasing to God nothing I had done it wasn't even the bright God that I had known. I felt so deceived because they told me this is God and He wasn't God. They told me, what to do if He's the law, killing the way of Allah? And then, this God says, love in the way of me, forgive in the way of me. But it was everything my heart existed for and said, yes, this is the truth of God. God is about forgiveness. God is about love. So I wept for two hours and I just stood at his feet and he just said, I should look up. And the moment I looked up, I saw this. It was like a TV screen of some sort. I, I just saw people from all different generations and all different na nationalities and backgrounds. And every single person I saw, I could see every single wrong thing they have done. And that overwhelmed me. I just cried, said, God, I live among all these peoples. All of them are sinners. And he says, Afshin, how easy did I forgive you? And I said, very easy. In Farsi we say, as easy as drinking water. And then,
just moments after that I said, no, 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 even easier than drinking water. He says, as easy as I have forgiven you, I can forgive them. Who is going to tell them? I said, send me that. He says, go. That's how I became a Christian. So I prayed, God, send me a Bible. Uh, in jail, somebody from some other section just walked up to me and gave me a book and says, this is what you asked for. And uh, he was an East Indian background and I spoke Urdu and Hindi uh, completely. So, uh, so when he gave it to me, I knew it is the Bible. I forgot to thank you, God. I said, God, I prayed last night and you gave it to me this morning. It is so wonderful. You answered, you are the mighty God that he just spoken of and you provide so quickly that is the living word of God I tell you this I share my testimony so people hear about this almighty God I don't expect anybody to become a Christian because of my testimony my testimony is only good for me I want people to understand this this is the story of Almighty God that is all able and that is searching for all seeking hearts that loves all humanity with all his strength and power. If someone hears my testimony today, I really like them to just say, okay, God of heaven, the creator of everything, if this is true, I want that. And I assure you, I can guarantee you that mighty God that came and touched and changed my life and, and, and totally forgive everything I have done. And He made me sure that I can be in heaven with Him. He can assure them of the same assurance and He can let them taste of the same forgiveness and same love. And that is who Jesus Christ is. May glory be to Him, today and forevermore. Amen. My suggestion to a Muslim man or a woman is, I know they ask, is Jesus Christ God? Can a human being become God? Of course, never, no human being can become God. But, I believed, even as a Muslim, in an almighty God. God, the great God, that can do anything and everything. But can a God, this great God, become man? Can He show Himself in the body of a man? Yes, He can. And so, as Christians, we do not say Jesus Christ is the son of a God because God had a child. No, no, no. But God showed himself in the body of Jesus Christ to all humanity. I dare anybody, if they ask Jesus Christ with the heart that is right, and God knows we cannot test God we cannot question God but we can ask God we can ask God with humble beings that we are saying God Almighty I have a family member that is sick I have someone that is is really really in need of a healing I have question I have a broken heart. I, I, I am filled with, with depression and no doctors can help me. I have no hope. I feel like I, am, I have no peace. If you ask, is there hope in Jesus for me? Is there healing in the name of Jesus for me? Is there healing for my family member? mean some kind of salvation from that depression ask in the name of Jesus you will receive it because he is the Almighty God you test you will see 
And that is who God is.